guess what made this the, the right opportunity for you to see your career? Um, it's just a great opportunity to come in and help a budding team, you know, win games. Obviously, I was on a plane yesterday at the same time, and first day out here, I'm in pads, so I'm just having fun, kind of rolling with the punches. What made Indy such a desirable destination for you to come here? Um, I mean, I just kind of wanted the opportunity, and Indy gave me the opportunity. Um, I love this game. I love the grind. I love the hustle. And the first time of me really being not on a team throughout OTAs and camp, um, I had a good feeling about, you know, the regimen that I did without a team. But kind of being back out here, being in this camaraderie, being, um, you know, in a locker room, um, it meant a lot to just come here and just, like I said, add my value to this organization. What is that grind like when you're, you're trying to get ready without a team and just everything that, that running backs are kind of going through right now to, to find work? I mean, what, what kind of got you to, to grind that level? Um, just like I said, love for the game. Really, I had to kind of channel my inner, like, pre-draft type mentality where um, I didn't know where I was going to go. Um, but I knew every day I had to get up and, you know, keep the main thing the main thing, which was, um, you know, focus on my next opportunity, which was my preparation. And then, you know, getting a workout, getting a call and handling business from there. But um, it's funny because, like, every day I got up, I had to kind of actually open my horizons up a little bit because now I'm year eight, you know, in the you know, latter half of my career. Obviously, I want to continue to play as long as I, you know, I really can. I feel like I got a lot of trade on my tires. But... Um, I was able to kind of like open my mind up and kind of like take down the blinders from just being in a, a football facility, you know, from March to, you know, camp or whatever, and kind of focus on myself, focus on my family. And that was great for the time being. And then once, you know, camp kind of get got going around, you know, it was like, all right, you know, let me really buckle down and put myself through my own personal camp the like the last like month or so. So um, that gave me an opportunity to come here and, you know, put my abilities on on, on, on showcase. Where have, you been, where have you been training? Uh, in Vegas, I live in Vegas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that the first time you had to do that, like throughout your career since you've been a pro, where you had to like basically go through your own type of offseason plan without like that clear cut future? Yeah. Um, every year from the time I got drafted back in 2016 with Miami, um, was traded to Arizona, um, got tagged that 2020 year, so didn't hit for agency or you know was on a team. Um, the only year that was kind of in limbo was when I got cut from the Raiders after my injury with them in 2021. So that 2022 season, like going into like my that fourth preseason game, I was like in limbo for a week, and I didn't. Uh, then uh, um, the Raiders picked me up. So this was the first time like in my whole career that I've kind of just sat idle for this amount of time, you know, without a football future. But like I said, I love the game and I put everything into this, um, you know, my preparation to kind of get to this point. So I'm going to let the chips fall where they may. To have that mentality, is it like how much of it is it innate, like something you're just born with and how much you, I guess, learn that throughout the years to stay ready for an opportunity that you can't like see right in front of you? Because obviously it's easier to work for when you see it like mm -hmm. right in front of you. Um, what, what's that Drake quote? You know, the moment I start having fun with it, I'll be done with it. I'm, I'm having a great time. I love football. I love being around, you know, the guys that we all have a um, a like-minded mindset, which is going out and winning a championship. And um, I knew that, you know, with my ability and, you know, my self-confidence that if I put the work in, um, you know, I, I will reap what I sow. So I'm going to continue to kind of build upon that and, you know, help this team win games down the road. When it comes to trying to keep that fire lit, has there ever been a moment where you thought, like, you know, is it, is it worth it to keep going? Um, not necessarily was it worth it, but I know from a personal standpoint, like I said, year eight, um, not that I necessarily need to play football, but I want to. So I like every day I woke up with the same mindset, like, you know, I'm hungry to go out there and continue to prove myself. You know, I mean, from, from a financial standpoint, I mean, I know people love to count people's pockets, but I've made a good amount of money in my career playing this game. And I have a, a good foundation for to continue to live a, the life that I want to live with myself and my family. But I still love this game, and I want to go out here and prove that I can still be a valuable um, option for any team, and obviously being here now for this team. This is all very strange for something very quickly to happen like this. Does the experience pay off for you being put into a situation that a lot of guys could not handle? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Um, I was on a plane this time yesterday, literally 24 hours ago. The first live rep that I had today, or rep that I had, was a live rep, and I felt like I was running in mud. And <laughs> so, literally, it's not going to be anywhere but to go but up from here. But like you said, the experience that I've had playing in this in this game, being at this high level, 
Um, I'm going to continue to get better day in and day out, um, put the extra work in to make sure I, I get up to speed because, you know, these guys have been through OTAs and camp and, you know, have gelled together and, you know, got their ability and their mind together um, in that sense. Uh, but like I said, the love for this game and the preparation I know I need to put in is going to carry me to continue to do what I need to do. You played with Lamar, Kyler Murray. What does having a running quarterback do for a running back? Um, it just creates these crazy holes. And, um, you know, playing with guys as um, dynamic as obviously uh, Kyler and, 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 and Lamar, um, you know, being, guys, being around guys now like uh, Minshew and, and Anthony, um, I just feel like, um, whoever kind of, you know, is in that position to, you know, take advantage of it, I feel like it's going to continue to help this offense go to the next level. And I'm, you know, excited to kind of be a part of that.